What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today is the day before the preload begins. Preload is going to start tomorrow on Friday. So with that, the videos are going to start to be rolling in terms of guides. And we're going to talk about some important items that you definitely can grab very, very early in the game that can definitely, definitely help your progression free to play, of course. If I can draw your attention here, we are in the harbor, uh, Leeway Harbor right here, which is this uh, city right here if you guys... Uh, decide to venture down here early on in the game when you guys go up here there was a bank all right and you guys will be able to access this bank uh, when you guys arrive to Lee away you guys will be able to enter this Northland bank now shout out to the stream for telling me this one I had no idea the bank was re recently introduced as of closed beta test 3 uh, but I never took the time to go in here and explore and fortunately since I didn't I didn't realize that there's an extra chest that spawns in this location right here that actually gives you 200,000 mora now for those of you guys who are going to be starting out or haven't played Genshin Impact 200,000 mora basically the end game gold is a very very helpful uh, amount of coin uh, that can definitely help you on your progression and since we're here in Leo Way, another thing worth mentioning is if you guys go to Xingxi here with the um, jewelry shop she sells antiques and here at the antique shops you can find these basically in Leo Way, and you can also find them in Mondstadt the beautiful thing about this is this is going to really apply to pretty much all players now the things I need you guys to understand is that she sells things that will help you out especially if you are unable able to pull a four star or a five star weapon if you guys have noticed she sells the northlander bow prototype the northlander claymore prototype the northlander catalyst prototype and the polearm prototype so for those of you guys who may be building specific characters what will happen here is that if you are unable to pull those weapon you can buy these prototypes by using these sigils that can be found opening chests in the area after opening these chests in the area you get these sigils you can buy these prototypes and all you have to do is gather materials and you'll be able to just craft the weapon that you want for the particular character that you have causing you literally no primo gems at all and is very very free to play accessible now you can find this merchant right in the middle of town let me zoom in here so you guys can see this it's marked by a little gem on the map and speaking of ore, if I could draw your attention here to the next part on the map, is an NPC. Now, I mentioned ores, right? And ores are very, very important, especially if you guys are trying to craft weapons or if you guys are free to play and you guys are trying to max refine your weapons. So for those of you guys who are unfamiliar with the refine process of a weapon, basically feeding a duplicate or an identical weapon to the original weapon increases the refinement level. Now, any of the blue text that you guys see here in the weapon description will go up. So right here, I have an additional 300% attack damage to enemies and then it goes up to 360 percent with refinement so any way that you guys can get dupes and craft them uh, makes your life a lot easier now in order to craft them like i mentioned you guys will need some materials and shito here is one of the characters that actually sells ore on a daily basis so if you guys are trying having trouble finding ore you guys can buy ore directly from this guy this is so so useful Okay, so if you guys have an opportunity to buy these or if you guys are Beto fans, he sells Noctilus Jade as well. And you guys can use this to buy ore pretty much every day to offset your need to farm. Although you're still going to have to farm a lot, but he's a very, very crucial NPC, especially if you guys are starting out and trying to craft your equipment very quickly. Now, this next thing, guys, brings us a little closer to home. Now that we're here in Mondstadt, the beautiful thing about this place is it's close. <laughs> and a lot of you guys, since everybody is starting here, will have access to a lot of things that are available. Now, Marjorie is the equivalent of the jewelry shop in Leo Way, except she sells a one-handed sword prototype and she also sells materials that you guys can use for your progression especially if you guys are having trouble gathering these initial materials to ascend your characters uh, for those of you guys who are new to the game ascension is just basically when you hit level cap and to raise the level cap you'll need these materials here uh, to ascend your character so again if you're having trouble beating the bosses early on you can buy these materials directly from the shop alongside the one hand sword prototype if you guys are looking to craft the one hand swords another cool thing to mention while we're here at the jewelry shop is you'll notice that you'll also need to ascend your weapons if you need to break the level limit of your weapons when you guys are playing the game now one thing to understand about weapon materials is they are very day specific so unfortunately if you guys have a weapon and the material that you'll need to get for your weapon ascension is not available during that day there is a way around it so outside of the prototypes and the other materials materials that I mentioned that they sell here at the shop you can also pick up these weapon ascension materials as well now keep in mind these items are limited but they are useful to ascend your initial weapons again you guys can also find these in Leeway in the other shop that I mentioned before 
Now, another thing I want to mention is going to take us directly to the cathedral here, and the cathedral offers a free four-star artifact. And you can get this literally at any time after uh, rank seven. So after you hit adventure rank seven, you collect the characters in the story, basically your free characters, and you clear the wind from the town or from the land or whatever. You'll be able to enter the cathedral and then talk to a specific NPC to grab yourself a four-star artifact. Once you guys arrive in the cathedral, you guys are going to be looking for Victoria. So Victoria Victoria, when you talk to her, she won't have uh, three chat options here um, until until a certain point of the game. What she will have is two chat options. So when you guys talk to her initially, you'll pick the second chat option. You'll follow the conversation, and what it'll originally do is it will prompt you to get a, a you know an extra artifact, right? And that artifact happens to be this artifact here now ideally when you guys are starting out you guys are hoping that it's going to be attack percent but you guys can grab this artifact directly from her again it's going to be random so there's no guarantee that the stat is going to be this that you guys see here so hopefully it works out for you guys but for those of you guys who are maybe re-rolling or not doing the ready for the road event or maybe or on ps4 <laughs> and you guys don't have access to the ready for the road event uh, this is a nice way for you to get a free four star artifact literally as soon as you well within the first hour that you start the game which can offset your progression time and last but not least this is probably my favorite early game quest to do uh, just because it's guaranteed to give you good stuff uh, when you guys get here to Dada Upa Gorge when you guys arrive in Dada Upa Gorge you guys might have seen this when I talked about you know what what rewards are the best to get in terms of the ready for the road event for my PC and mobile players uh, but for all players if you guys are in the area you guys should definitely 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 pick up this quest now when you guys get here there should be an NPC on the other side of this little you know pitch here and uh, what will happen is this area will be covered by three barriers you'll have to go to the corresponding camps one two and three uh, to kill enemies and just light the braziers that are over there if you guys are wondering which NPC you should talk to it should be dr. Livingstone who should be sitting right over here when you guys get here and then after you clear this there will be a luxury chest that's guaranteed to give you a four-star berserker feather okay and it'll also give you a two-hand sword prototype so for those of you guys who are starting with the two-hand sword prototype and you guys are going to be using this if you chose this for the uh, ready for the road event or if you've already crafted or and or summoned one of these uh, you can utilize this prototype here to craft another one to get your refinement rank up for your sword now there are a lot of other chests and secrets in the world that I could have shared with you today in this video but in order to not spoil your journey or your adventure in Tavot I just wanted to give you guys the clear cut and dry ones that are guaranteed to give you the best loot that I've seen in terms of a starter account if you guys are just adventuring and exploring I'll leave it up to you to find the rest of them because there's a ton tons of other treasures and secrets but I, I remember that when I first started playing Genshin Impact six months ago for the beta test and stuff the joy of it was finding it on my own so with these these are just some quick tips quick things quick grabs that you can you utilize to help your progression that you probably did not know about and now that you guys are aware of these you guys will be able to grab these in your world as soon as possible and it can help your early game progression tremendously especially as you guys are getting used to and learning the world of Tavod. with that being said guys um, if there's anything else that you guys have questions about comments concerns definitely let me know in the comment box below make sure you guys follow me on twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Damone Kim where we'll be streaming there pretty much daily except for Thursdays because that's daddy daughter day if you guys have anything else you guys would like me to make a video about definitely let me know in the comments as well and with that being said we will see you guys in the next video peace